Today we are going to discuss about slope and deflection by double integration method. To find slope and def deflection by double integration method is going to be given by equation of elastic curve bending moment at x is equal to the flexural rigidity of B multiplied with d square by y dx square. This is the equation of elastic curve. It's a double integration method. This is the equation of elastic curve. When we by integrating two times of this bending moment, it gives the value of deflection. If you multiply single time, it gives the value of slope. The first integration of the bending moment mx, it gives the value of slope. And the double integration of this bending moment at x, it gives the value of deflection. The double integration gives the value of slope and the first integration of the beam it gives the value of bending moment it gives the value of slope uh, and deflection. And next coming to this, we will solve one simple problem to calculate slope and deflection for a cantilever beam carrying a point load at the free end. By using double integration method we have to find the value of slope and deflection. It's a cantilever beam carrying a point load at the free end of span L meters and to calculate the slope at free end and to calculate slope at the fixed end and calculate the deflection at the free end and calculate the slope or the deflection at the free support, at the fixed support. Before this, we going to start, we have to draw deflected shape of this cantilever beam. This beam is going to bend in circular arc and this is the deflection, maximum deflection at free end and this is not deflection at the fixed support because of its rigidity. Because of, because of its rigid condition, there will be no deflection. For coming to slope, drop tangent on this elastic or at A is parallel to the axis of the beam. So there will be no slope and no deflection at the fixed support. And slope is maximum and deflection is maximum for cantilever beam at the free support. This is the slope at the free support. It's a maximum deflection at B and the maximum slope. And now take section X from the free support. This X is varying from point B to the point A. At the B, X is equal to 0 meters and at A, X is equal to L meters. And the X is varying from 0 to L meters. And now take section X from the, bend, from the free support. It is a bending moment at X. It is load is acting downward. It's a minus into X force into distance, it's a bending moment, load is acting at free end and we are taking section bending moment at x, it's a force into distance minus w into x. Therefore, bending moment at x, it's equal to the ei into d square by by dx square. From here, the first integration of this bending equation gives the value of slope ey e i into d i by d x is equal to minus w into x square by 2 plus c 1. This is the value of slope and where this c 1 is the integrate first integration constant. And next integrate again this e i into y is equal to minus into x cube by 6 plus c 1 into x plus c 2. This is the value of deflection. The first integration gives the value of slope and the second integration gives the value of deflection. In this equation, C1 is unknown. In this equation, C2 is unknown. And we have to calculate the value of C1 and C2 from these boundary conditions. To find the value of C1, dy by dx is 0 when at x equal to L meters. And to find substitute this value in this slope, e i into d by dx is 0 when x equal to l meters, it's minus w l q by w l square by 2 plus c1, where c1 is minus w l square by 2. This is the first integration constant and coming to the second integration constant c2. To find the value of c2, the boundary condition is deflection is 0 at when x equal to L. Substitute this value in this deflection Ei into 0 
E i y is zero when x equal to l, it's a minus W L Q by six plus C one. C one is minus C one is plus W L Q by two into x plus C two. From this we are going to calculate the value of C two. It is minus W L Q by six. We have calculated this first integration constant and second integration constant. Subtract this in the value of e i d y by d x. Subtract this value of c one c two in the e value of e y. It gives the value of slope, and this gives the value of deflection. And the boundary condition for when the x equal to zero, we'll get the slope at b. When x equal to zero, we'll get the slope and deflection at b. When x equal to l, we'll get the value of slope at a and deflection at a. Thank you guys this is for the using double integration method to calculate slope and deflection